hey, you want to be happier? There's one thing you can do every day to make yourself happier. You know what it is? It's be creative. Just do one creative thing every day. Look at this old lady. She She's just knitting. I know how to knit. Do you know how to knit? Learn how to knit if you don't know what to do. You know, unwind after a long day, but instead of going straight to Netflix and all the other stuff or just working out, try to engage your brain with something creative. What can you do? I don't know. Color or something, man. Do something for your brain. Don't just watch TV. Don't be just a consumer. Sucks. You're not going to be happy doing that. If you're just watching the same garbage everybody else is watching or just going and playing video games, you're just a consumer. Be a producer, even if no one consumes what you produce. Be creative. Do it. I'm encouraging you to go out there and try to make something. Just make something, period. All of their benefits, but the the things that in their last category may be an especially worthy way to spend your time off the clock. For one thing, having a creative side hustle outside of work can lead to increased job satisfaction. What? You could increase your job satisfaction? Even like cooking, knitting, or even doodling can influence your overall well-being for the better. This is why they talk about morning pages. Morning pages is great because you can like just scribble down. Don't worry about punctuation. Just write. Write a page. Maybe maybe you get up to four pages. Just write. Just write every morning. Neuroscientists scanned uh, Sting's brain to help them understand creativity. Sting? Oh, man. <laughs> I read this thing that said that Puff Daddy gives him two thousand dollars a day because of that song that they that they worked on that they you know uh, every breath I take. The study authors recruited six hundred fifty eight volunteers to keep a daily diary for two weeks, describing their mood and rating how creative they had been over the course of the day. Creativity was defined as coming up with the novel or original ideas, expressing oneself in an original and useful way, or spending time doing artistic activities. That's it. The flourishing scale. Today I was interested and engaged in all my daily activities. Today my social relationships were supportive and rewarding. I'm telling you, do something a little creative. You're going to love life. Keep a gratitude journal. You know, Just write down three things that you're grateful for today. You're going to be happy you did. And then when you do start thinking about what you're grateful for, you start looking at the world as, what, what else could I be grateful for? What can I put in my gratitude journal today? <laughs> it's a weird feeling. It's called the attitude of gratitude. And that's what I like to express when I'm around vegans, when I'm around people who actually care about the world. I like to just have an attitude of gratitude, you know? Please, please care. They don't have to be masterworks of art. The f- no, not just masterworks of art. If you're a talented painter or prolific writer or someone who spends their free time composing songs, don't worry about that. Daydreaming, for example, has been shown to help enhance creativity. By this study's definition, daydreaming is already a creative pursuit. Oh, even a punny joke could fit the bill. Can you make some puns? Make a make a punny joke. Be a little creative, for God's sake. You're gonna make you're gonna make the world a better place and you're gonna enjoy the world more. Promise. That's it's a pretty cool way to be happier. And I'm trying to make people happy. So hey, try being creative today. Let me know in the comments what you did to be creative. I would love to know that. I mean, don't forget to like and subscribe.